Welcome back everybody to the channel or welcome to the channel where this video is all about how do I install Beaverfield the mod for emergency 5, 16, 17, and 20. I typically run on 20 so this works for me. If you're running a different version of the game, not version, but I guess, you know, I guess it is different versions, right? They came out with the different uh, games over the different years. Let me know if you're having any issues and I'll do what I can to help you out. So first thing is, this is a step-by-step -step instructions. You can stop the video here, take notes or whatever if you really need to, or come back to it. We're going to quickly walk through what we're going to do, and then I will actually physically do it. So we're going to go to this link and download the mod. And then we're going to save the mod. It's going to typically save to the default download folder. We're going to save or move that mod to a folder you remember and want to keep it in because we're going to need to know where it's at later. Open up your emergency game. We're going to click modifications. We're going to click add the mod. We're going to browse to where you saved the file. For me, it's saved under C drive users high end PC data roaming. We're going to click OK, so I'm just going to show you that. I get it under this PC, C drive users, high end PC, app data, and roaming. It's called just Beaverfield. It's leave it in the zip file. Okay? You don't have to unzip it. And as of this recording, the file is 2.4, well, 2,499,535 kilobytes. We're going to click, we're going to select that. We're going to click OK. We're going to select the checkbox in the modifications window uncheck all other mods we're going to click OK and we're going to launch the game and start emergency 20 so when you open this hyperlink it'll come up with this window now I have already this is actually like my third time recording because the windows weren't operating well with my video recording but um, if it, it did so it failed so we're going to if I reload it will it work there's gonna be a link here for download you hit download oh it's already completed because it's already com completed it'll start downloading it here see how that works boom it's already downloaded it for me so it's like hey dummy but it'll take a while because it is 2.4 gigabytes. Okay, it's going to save it to where it's going to save it. And then... Where's my game at? We're going to open up your game. You'll have to excuse my dog barking. We're going to go modifications. We're going to go, wait for this, that's always annoying to me. We're going to go add the mod. And you're going to go to where you saved it. So for me, it's C drive users, high end PC, app data, roaming. And there's my Beaverfield mod. Okay, click that. Click open. I'm not going to because I've already done it. And this is important. Where you have your modifications, if you have Ludenscheid and you've been running that, you have to uncheck this. Make sure Beaverfield is checked. Select OK. It will take a minute. And then we're going to hit emergency 20. And it should look like this. Okay. I'm going to click, skip through these video parts, and then we'll have play, your profile options, a forum for the uh, developers of this, the team that made Beaverfield. Select Beaverfield. There's only an option to play free play. You can play challenge or endless game. I usually do an endless game. And then start the game. If you have any issues, let me know down in the comments. I hope this worked for uh, everybody. I got a few people asking me. So I hope this works. And like it, subscribe, Comment down below. Any engagements really helping my channel grow. I appreciate each one of your support. Until next time, everybody, take care. Stay safe.